Ranching for the largest rain garden here at the development project that's been happening. Uh, the, in September they installed this rain garden, um, so it was excavated and filled in with a specific type of soil mixture, so it's highly permeable. And today we have two classes of students from the local high school who are here helping to plant. Well, I'm an advocate for low impact development because it helps to manage our stormwater runoff. So instead of the water running over our driveways and roads, going straight into the storm sewers, into our creeks and rivers, instead we're trying to treat the stormwater close to where it falls. So all of the water that falls onto this property, water that comes off of the roofs, is going to go into this rain garden and it's mostly going to soak into the ground. So instead of picking up pollutants to go into our creeks, instead it's going to be filtered and we're going to end up with some cleaner water. The project uh, is progressing fantastically, really. Um, the help of Upper Thames is being able to uh, bring the plants in and, and organize with kids to, to plant. Um, this is the probably the largest rain garden in this area, for sure. Oh, it's so important. If you don't protect the water, then nobody has anything to drink. Like, this is protecting all of the city's water, whether they realize it or not. Oh, I love it. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I We've been talking about the new technologies and the low impact developments and things like that that, that, um, that uh, Upper Thames is, is doing. And so it's nice to be involved in the community, but also know that these kids live around here and that they're going to be able to pass by this on a daily basis and say, hey, I helped out with this. This is what it's all about. So when they're with their moms or dads or on the school buses, they're going to say, hey, want to find out about what's going on. The high school group is a, do it, they're working really really hard and uh, there's there's some chatter going on but it's exceptional uh, exceptional planting and mulching. I think it's worked more successful than what we were expecting to be quite frank with you. In terms of uh, runoff, because uh, I was talking to Dan and he said uh, most of the time when it rains he see that first compartment fill of water and then the next day when it, he comes here it's all infiltrated which is a good sign, right? So it's responding to the storm that we designed it for and we're all happy to see that successful project. In here, because originally they proposed a dry pond. Uh, we will take some of the space on the site, right? So that saved them two to three lots. Uh, but excluding that, based on our calculation, the saving was around 40% uh, of conventional versus LIDs. So that's a lot.